Welcome to our midweek encouragement. We live in a very difficult and desperate time, yet we also live with great confidence because of our faith in Jesus Christ, the one whom God raised from the dead and who gives us our hope. We are just about to begin another period of lockdown, the second time for this year. We're going to have four weeks of isolation and limited uh, ways of life as we know it as we come to terms and try to battle this coronavirus. It is going to be difficult. I don't know what it's going to be like for you. There are going to be things that we cling to and hold on to that are not going to be available for us. But it is important that we do so rooted and anchored in the way of life which comes from being a follower of Jesus. And one of the most deepest and securest places we can be is in our relationship of prayer, of conversation and of relationship with him. The Archbishops of Canterbury and York have written, and I going to share the letter that they have written with us as I send this midweek encouragement to you. But I just want to uh, share with one thing that they say. They say, bearing in mind our primary vocation as the Church of Jesus Christ to pray and to serve. We call upon the Church of England to make this month of lockdown a month of prayer. More than anything else, whatever the nation thinks, we know that we are in the faithful hands of the risen Christ who knows our weaknesses, tiredness and struggles and whose steadfast love endures forever. The archbishops carry on and implore us and encourage us every Thursday to pray that we may uh, know the Lord Jesus' strength and commitment, but also not just for ourselves, but for our nation. One of the greatest psalms, I think, for us at this time is Psalm 27, which begins, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And at the end, it implores us to wait for the Lord. I want to read you a slightly different version of that from the message version of the Bible. And this is how it puts it. Light, space, zest. That's God. So with him on my side, I'm fearless, afraid of no one and nothing. When vandals' hordes ride down, ready to eat me alive, those bullies and toughs fall flat on their faces. When besieged, I'm calm as a baby. When all hell breaks loose, I'm collected and cool. I'm asking God for one thing, only one thing, to live with him in his house my whole life long. I'll contemplate his beauty. Our study at his feet. That's the only quiet, secure place in a noisy world. The perfect gate getaway, far from the buzz of traffic. God holds me head and shoulders above all who try to pull me down. I'm headed for his place to offer anthems that will raise the roof. Already I'm singing God songs. I'm making music to God. Listen, God, I'm calling at the top of my lungs. Be good to me. Answer me. When my heart whispered, seek God, my whole being replied, I'm seeking him. Don't hide from me now. You've always been right there for me. Don't turn your back on me now. Don't throw me out. Don't abandon me. You've always kept the door open. My father and mother walked out and left me, but God took me in. Point me down your highway, God. Direct me along a well-lighted street. Show my enemies whose side you're on. Don't throw me to the dogs, those liars who are out to get me, filling the air with their threats. I'm sure now I'll see God's goodness in the exuberant earth. Stay with God. Take heart. Don't quit. I'll say it again. Stay with God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. We know that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light which cannot be extinguished, which will always shine in the darkest and the gloomiest of places. And so we need to stay with God who has given us Jesus. 
who I say has made him alive for us. I encourage us to continue in our prayers as the archbishops have encouraged us to do it on a Thursday but perhaps as a parish of the resurrection can we do it every day can we as the evening begins perhaps light a candle in a window as a sign of hope to the outside to the world and say a very simple prayer maybe you could read that psalm psalm 27 in whatever form you choose and also say the greatest and easiest and dearest of prayers, the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer, or some people say the Disciples' Prayer, the Our Father. In there, it says everything that we need to say to God in our relationship with him. It asks God to protect us and to look after us and to make his kingdom come. And it also asks that we are delivered from the evil one and all evil. And this world needs to be delivered and we need to pray that the Lord will have mercy on us and that the Lord will come and heal his creation. So a midweek encouragement to prayer in this difficult time of lockdown. We will keep praying. Morning prayer every day, Compline every day starting tomorrow on Thursday. We will be here on Facebook. We will continue with our midweek encouragements, our online worship. And although we won't be allowed in our church buildings, the church is alive and is well and continues in its worship and its relationship with Jesus and continues to serve and to love God's people. I encourage you to pray and to serve the callings of God to us as his people. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. And may God shed his light upon your path at all times and in all places. And may you know his blessing this day, through this lockdown, and forever. Amen. Amen.